Welcome to another episode of New OB and today we're going to be taking a look at two new themes on the PlayStation Vita. One which is unique to Japan. So let's press the button and go ahead and open the screen. And we are now installing Street Fighter X, which was free on PlayStation Plus. Okay, uh, there was an error though, could not install for some reason. So it looks like it was not free, it was just a trick. Let's put the volume up high. Then you'll be able to hear the background sound and music from all the different background themes which I'm about to show you. Let's just let this install quickly. I don't know why I downloaded this, because I actually had a physical copy as well. Oh, there it is, it's installing the two themes right now. It hasn't even been installed yet. Okay, so let's go directly to folders. <laughs> These gloves are quite thick, so it doesn't pick it up so easy. There we go, so let's go to start. And let's scroll down to theme and background. Let's go to theme. And uh, voila, we've got these two new ones. One which you guys already know, PlayStation 20th Anniversary, which I believe is available in both Japan and America, and probably all the other countries too. And then the other new one that we've got is the Blacksmith one. Uh, all the others you have seen, but we will be counting all of these to see how many there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 different themes. I believe there's quite a few in America too, but unfortunately with the Vita not being able to really change accounts, I just haven't bothered getting the American ones. But anyway, uh, let's take a look at the new one first and then we'll look at the anniversary one second because most of you already know about the anniversary one. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this one. So let's click on it. Uh, click on it, there we go. And let's select that one. Please wait. Okay, selected. So. Let's take a look. Press the button and voila! Pretty awesome start screen. So let's open up the start screen and nice. Pretty good music. Nice background picture. Very bright. The colors are popping. Let's go into this folder. Yeah, slightly changed. Not that much, but you know, a bit. All golden. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's take a look at how many different pictures there are and what they look like. So, picture number two, very, very nice. Picture number three, also nice. Picture number four. Number five. And then it goes back to the first one, looks like it. And just repeats. So there's only five different pictures. That's a bit of a disappointment, but they are very nice, the pictures. I must say they do look nice. And the music is pretty good too. So, so anyway, let's go back to folders and let's go to settings and start. And then we're going to move on over to th whoops, theme and background, and let's go to theme. And then of course the PlayStation 20th anniversary, which, like I said, is available just about everywhere. Let's take a look at the anniversary theme. Press the button and well, very, very plain, but it does say 20th anniversary PlayStation. Very cool. Open up the screen and yeah, very nice music. Very similar to the PlayStation 4 one. Icons didn't really change much. Oh, I wonder if there's an error. Well, these did change. These definitely did change. Look very, very nice. I'm not sure why these didn't change. I think they were supposed to, but they just didn't that might have been an error okay let's take a look so wait does the background actually change 20th anniversary 20th anniversary uh yeah there's nothing up here if you take a look over here yes it says their 20th anniversary well, triangle 20 x square if we go to the next page oh so that basically moved okay so there there's nothing this one you see it it comes in then it's in the bottom and over here oh there jump to that side so it basically jumps around. It could be somewhere on the screen, maybe hidden behind one of these bubbles. Oh, there it is at the top again. So yeah, there's not really too much to it. The music's pretty good, as you can hear. But very plain, very simple. Ah. So that is it, you guys. That is it.
So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, uh, I did have shown the other theme, so you can always go and take a look for that if you want to. One of my favorite ones is the one that you actually saw when I started up the PlayStation Vita, and that's this one over here. But they actually are all pretty good. I do like them all. So which one should I make my main theme right now? I th actually, this one's not too bad, but I think I do like this one the most, just because it's good for everybody. It's good for kids and it's good for adults. It looks very nice, it's very colorful, got nice relaxing music. This one will really get someone's attention. Duncan Rompa as well, the music is quite crazy on that one. 